Today, I'm pairing the PO14 sub with the NTS-1. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. Today's patron shout-out goes to Everett Vincent, Thank you so very much. If you would like to support the channel, just head over to patreon.com slash freebeat. So today I am really excited. I totally forgot that I have not had this combination on video yet. I have not actually plugged them in uh, together at all uh, because we kind of picked up the PO14 sub during the Clash of Fools uh, week uh, and I was really busy and I just kind of forgot about it. But as I do with every pocket operator that I pick up, I love to plug it into the Korg NTS-1 to use the awesome effects and see what kind of amazing sounds we can generate. Now, let's look at this combo really quick because I think it's a pretty potent one. Uh, Price-wise, we're looking at 49 US dollars for the sub and 99 US dollars for the Korg NTS-1. So uh, 149 US dollars, that's about the price of a Volca. So, you know, uh, obvious comparisons uh, with this combo would be like the Volca Bass or the Volca New Bass. But uh, yeah, I want to see what we can come up with. So uh, let's get going here. I'm on sound one on the sub. Which of course, we know the sub already just sounds phenomenal on its own. But let's go ahead and get some reverb going. That sounds really nice, that rumble. Oh, yeah. All right, let's uh, try a different sound, something a little more aggressive. Number two. That's pretty sweet too. All right, let's keep going. There we go. That's more what I was after. Yeah. Let's get a little delay maybe as well. like so good. That is so nice. Yeah, wow. Uh, PO14 sub, again, so underrated. Let's uh, keep going to sound four. Ooh. That's like track worthy down there. That sounds really nice. Yeah, I like that. Let's go to number five. Number six. Basically what I'm doing right now is uh, looking for my favorites, the standout sounds on the sub, and then we will really dive into the effects on the NTS-1. to do I want to switch to cathedral reverb which is a user uh, a custom user reverb on the NTS one oh wow <laughs> yeah listen to that Yeah, you can't tell me the PO14 is not a serious synthesizer. Like, man, just get a little reverb on there. It sounds phenomenal. Let's go to sound seven. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take the delay off, actually.
Remember, uh, if you've watched any of my cathedral reverbs, you know that uh, knob B actually controls the uh, cutoff of the reverb itself. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. All right, sound number, what, eight? I remember eight being a favorite. Let's see what we can do with it. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right, this is like worthy of making a song around, I think. Uh, I'm definitely going to make a mental note uh, of sound number eight with the cathedral reverb on the NTS-1 because I think that uh, I want to use this in like a project. Wow, oh! Wow! Yeah, jeez. Okay, sound number eight. Let's just go ahead and use that one right now because, I mean, honestly, there are endless combinations that you could use between the PO14 sub and the NTS-1, and we will definitely touch on all of them. Maybe just not in this video because I want to explore sound eight with uh, a few other effects as well. Let's start with the chorus. Oh, come on. It's not even fair. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys are hearing this. Sorry, I don't have more to say. I'm just kind of closing my eyes and taking in uh, these sounds. I don't really have uh, experience using a device like the uh, the PO14 sound-wise with the NTS-1. I mean, we briefly touched on some bass sounds with like the Model D uh, with the NTS-1, but nothing like this. So this is all kind of uh, new to me, and it's sort of blowing my mind if you can't tell. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. Let's go ahead and head to the flanger. And uh, if you don't know, the flanger is my favorite effect on the Korg NTS-1. And uh, yeah, let's just see what this sounds like with the reverb as well. Let's uh, go right here. We'll fatten it up first. Now we'll bring in the flanger. Oh. My eyes are closed. You can't see it, but they are. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Gonna bring down the uh, reverb a little bit. Actually, let's just turn off the reverb. There we go. So we can hear more of what's going on with the flanger. Wow, that's a sweet spot right there for sure. Yeah, wow. Uh, I highly recommend this combo. This uh, this could keep me entertained for hours. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's get a little delay on there. Uh, once again, I am recording the uh, NTS-1 in mono as my audio interface only has two inputs and uh, one of them needs to go to my mic. Uh, we will be changing that shortly, uh, I hope anyway, so no worries there. But uh, yeah, I'm recording mono today, so just mono delay for us. Yeah.
<laughs> Man, you got to love it. Let's uh, just take a quick listen to some of the drums really quick. Let's turn the delay off uh, and just turn the flanger off. I just want to hear it with some of that nice reverb. Ooh. I feel like there's a lot of possibilities for maybe some ambient stuff uh, with as weird as this drum kit is with some of the, uh, the reverbs on the NTS-1. This one right here is giving me, like, crazy space vibes. Yeah, that's nice. With some delay, why not? I said I wouldn't. Why not? We're going to do it. Yeah. All right. No more delay. Ooh, that's actually a pretty meaty kick now. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. If this does not convince you that you can have a incredibly humongous variety of sounds at your disposal for less than 150 US dollars, I don't know what will, uh, because this is, this is insane. I would love to get like a PO32 tonic in here and uh, have a jam with, uh, with the three of these, or who knows, some, some other instrument with some, like a proper drum kit on it. I think you could have a lot of fun. And even, of course, just by itself, wow. A uh, phenomenal combination. We didn't even touch on the second half of the sounds. There's still seven more synth engines uh, for us to play around with on the PO14 sub. We will definitely come back and do that. In the meantime, I hope you did enjoy this video. If so, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.